Unit conversions involving units raised to a power. Calculate the displacement, the total volume of the cylinders through which the pistons move, of a 5.70 liter automobile engine in cubic inches. In this problem, we were given that we have a 5.70 liter automobile engine. And we were asked to find the equivalent volume in cubic inches. So let's create a conceptual plan. And in this plan, we will start with liters and then convert that to milliliters. Because we know that milliliters are related to cubic centimeters. And then we can apply an English metric conversion factor to convert this to cubic inches. So the conversion factors or relationships that we will use, we will label A, B, and C. And let's list those. Relationship A is the conversion from liters to milliliters, and we know that one milliliter is equal to 10 to the minus 3 liters. Relationship B is one milliliter is the same as one cubic centimeter and relationship C is actually a linear relationship 2.54 centimeters are equal to one inch because we note that a volume is a length cubed. So now we're ready to to solve. Starting with five point seven zero liters we will apply the first conversion factor which is one milliliter is the same as ten to the minus three liters so the liters cancel Second conversion factor is that we have one cubic centimeter if 
for every one milliliter. So milliliters cancel. And then our third conversion factor, one inch is 2.54 centimeters. But we're dealing with volume, which is cubic centimeters. So we must cube all terms in the numerator, the one and the inches, and we must cube all terms in the denominator, the 2.54 and the centimeters. So the centimeters become cubed and cancel, and we now have units in cubic inches. So we plug this into our calculator, and our calculator gives a readout of 347.835 cubic inches. And we have to analyze our data for significant figures. When we do that, we realize that the one datum that we're given, 5.70, has three significant figures. Each of the conversion factors is a defined quantity and therefore is exact. So we must round our number to three significant figures. When we do that, we obtain a final answer of 348 cubic inches. And finally, we should always check to make sure that our answer makes sense. 348 cubic inches is reasonable because we're dealing with liters and a cubic inch is a very, very small quantity, so we would expect to have a fairly large number of cubic inches. So this answer is correct.